Hey guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and it's Sunday morning. I've got my coffee and we are headed to do some errands. I thought I would bring you along with me. Getting a car wash. It's I, I'm in desperate need of a car wash and more so a vacuum. The inside of my car is gross. Um, we haven't really gotten much snow this year, so I'm not too worried about like the salt and things, but more so the crumbs. I'm going on a road trip this weekend to, um, yeah, so I want to have a fresh, clean car. Sorry if it's loud, I'm in the car wash. We can be like, disco. So, first things we're going to do is clean out the car. I do breathe. My Dollar Tree basket, it'll sit on the floor behind me. It'll hold all my car things. And then when it's bicycle season, it will hold all my bicycle things. Uh, next up, we're going to the Dollar Tree. I need to get some stuff for a video. I found a Dollar Tree class in my area. Somebody had said there was one around here. I don't think that's the one I went to. I went to one on Morse Road. Um, yeah. I don't even know how to describe where it's off, but before you get to 71 out there, there was they only had one row, one aisle, but they're coming, friends. All right, I'm getting ready to be done with this car wash. I'm gonna vacuum out and then we'll be back. Car was washed. I went to one Dollar Tree. I have a separate video for that. I went to TJ Maxx. I was looking for a few things. Um, I needed some new travel toothbrushes. I love these because they fold up on themselves and it keeps your bristles from touching things. Um, you can just use a cap too, but I like these. They also don't take up a lot of space. So I grabbed the two pack for $3.99. Thought that was fun. I'm obsessed with the McCafe Colombian. I love the Colombian and at TJ Maxx, it's only $5.99 and you get 12 cups. So I picked up two more of those. Although I will tell you, I did get the Target brand Colombian. It's good. I'm starving, so I grabbed some keto crackers. I usually get, the, or I used to get these at Costco, but they don't seem to carry them anymore in a bigger bag. But they're just seed and grain crackers. I'm hungry. Um, and then I don't have to go to Target now. I needed some dish soap. And this is from Method, which... It was only $5.99, which I pay $3.99 or $4.29 for one bottle. This is the equivalent of three bottles of dish soap. I'm trying to see if it's thinner. So the Dawn makes my pump leak, my dish soap pump. This one does not. So it's just Method brand. It is sea minerals, it's the scent, it's plant-based, grease cutting power. I don't I don't know what all that means. Cruelty free, not tested on animals, biodegradable formula, bottle is minimalist. So you just fill this up three times, which is great because I needed one. Um, I'll show you what these look like because I am hungry. It's 11 o'clock. Typically I don't eat till noon unless my body says you're hungry. And today my body says I'm hungry. Uh, so this is what the crackers look like. And they're good. Um, almonds, coconut, and pumpkin seed, sunflower, and hemp seeds. Coconut, pumpkin seed, sunflower, brown rice flour. Mm, that's not great for me. Tapioca flour, almonds, hemp seed, erythritol, inulin, brown rice protein. There's a lot of rice in these things, but they pack it with a lot of, um, fiber so they could say net I usually just have a couple and it, it works for me still drinking this coffee although I need to get home soon and I also need to do something with this hair today I got it cut but we're gonna video we're gonna make a couple videos and then I'll cut wash my hair and shower probably not okay next up we are going, sorry, I had a seed. We're gonna go to Dollar Tree. 
And then we're gonna go home and put together Easter baskets. Two Easter baskets. Let's do it. Hi guys. I'm back here on the floor and we are putting together an Easter basket. I already finished one. So we're gonna do the second one here. I'll show you the first one. Uh, this one is for Sarah. So it has all kinds of candy and then all little things around it for her. And this one's for her friend. So what we're gonna do is first we're gonna fill this. On the bottom, I'm just putting some loose candies that I picked up that I didn't have room in the eggs for, which is perfectly okay. I'm gonna sit up on my knees. So you're gonna be talking to my bunny shirt, but I need to be able to see what's happening in here. Okay, I got them each, and they all have the same candy. A Rice Krispie Bunny and a Russell Stover Chocolate Bunny. So those will come here in the back. I don't need them to be too super high, so I'm okay with that. Then I got them this little bunny thing as well, but we have all of the um, jelly beans that are gonna go down in here. I think maybe I do wanna try to make the front stuff a little higher. There we go. So we'll, oh then, there we go. I got the candy in the front, this loose candy. Okay, I'm not using grass because it's messy and they're grown ups. Um, I got them each one of these pretzels. A lot of this came from the Dollar Tree. If you get out there early in the season, you can get the good stuff. Um, I got them Kool-Aid jelly beans and so they don't live together and each of them can take their basket home. I got Fruit Loops and Starburst jelly beans. Sarah loves jelly beans. They each got a creamy Carmelo. This is for the dog. Um, I got them these at the Dollar Tree, just cute little carrot. And then every year I get one of these for Sarah, so now he gets one as well. I have to ask if I can use his name. I haven't asked that yet. Okay, then we have, oops, these are Reese peanut butter eggs. I'm gonna put those right here with his little ear hanging out. These are Pete's like ring pops. I'll show you why I'm not too concerned with the height. I have Cadbury mini eggs. Star, uh, these are Starbursts and some more of the little um, Snickers, right? Well, let's not go breaking things. And then I have some other accoutrement. All right, we're gonna open this up. This is the Peeps bag. It is adorable. Now, I know who is for who, so I don't need the label. But I love this bag. And it's pretty large capacity as well. The one thing I find weird is they're putting the bunnies up the side and not up the front or, you know, straight up and down, but that's okay. Now, got that in the center, right? And it's way too big for this little basket, but you'll see. Also, I could have put them both in the same basket, in the bag, but I didn't. So these I got at Marshall's, or just some peanut butter candies. This is for his dog, Chipper. Uh, this is a dinosaur light because he needs one. He likes dinosaurs, apparently. I'm just teasing you, I tease him. And dinosaur train coloring activity. It's just a joke. Um, I think that's everything for the boy. And then I have some twine here, right? because I need it pretty long, and you'll see. We're gonna get everything together, tie it up, and you wanna give it a good taut tie at the top. Now, you see your little wings here. 
I just take, I use packing tape because that's what I have right in front of me. But you can use whatever you want. I will say scotch tape isn't the best for this. But you're gonna go under and tape that wing to the bottom, right? And then we're gonna do the same thing with the other wing. The other wing, lift it up. And you just tape the bottom, right? So now, his basket stands up. This is on the front. And this is how we identify whose basket is whose. I'm gonna turn this around so I can tie a pretty bow. So he, Sarah's friend has a big dog, Chipper. Sarah has a little dog. So I got them both alligator toys in their perspective sizes or their, I guess, respective sizes. So that they have toys because they're cute. And then I got Chipper some bones. I'm not really familiar with what he likes and doesn't like yet, toy-wise. The dog, not the boy. And so here's their Easter basket. Aren't they so cute? Guys, they're adorable. And a lot of the stuff I got at the Dollar Tree, including the candy. I know. All right, I got to put them on the table. Thanks for helping me. The baskets are done. How stinking adorable. Hey guys, thought I would bring you along while I pack my lunch. I'm on 5.30 or so and I need to pack my lunch for work tomorrow. These are egg life wraps. Um, they're made just out of eggs. They have no carbohydrates per wrap. So I like to use these for my lunch. So I take a wrap, I just make a half a sandwich. That's pretty much what I will eat. This is some Havarti um, just sandwich cheese I got at Costco. So I put a slice of cheese in there. Um, I get the big pack of it because I'll use it for a couple weeks. It's perfectly fine. And then at the store today, I got some, this is Aldi brand, I think it's Honey Ham. And it has like a couple carbs per serving. So this whole sandwich has about three or four carbohydrates. I'm opening it. I haven't opened it yet. Um, I typically try to pack my lunch every day. Last week I didn't, and I will tell you what happened. I spent too much money. This is almost like chip tam. I spent way too much money on lunch at the cafeteria at my work. Let's try this. I've not had it before. Mm, good. And probably what I will do, if I don't open that in a couple days, I'll put that in the freezer. Just because I like to make sure my lunch stays fresh. Then I put a little mayonnaise Oop, there we go. on my sandwich. I like pepper on it. So I think that's tasty. And a little tiny bit of salt. This is uncured ham, by the way. So then I just pull it together. I use these reusable lunch bags. So I can bring it home, wash it out, dry it out, and use it again. Try to be environmentally friendly around here as best I can. I don't think I do the best at it, but I try. There we go. And the good thing is I literally just carry my lunch into the office and I put it in the refrigerator. So it's not going to get, it's not like I am a little one that's going to get all shaken up. I think I got these at Dollarama in Canada. Here's my lunch box. Up here I have salt and pepper in case I need it. A little hot sauce. But I just put my sandwich at the bottom. I got these high-low chips. These are made from almond flour. This whole bag has five carbs. So now we're up to about eight carbs for my lunch, which is perfect. 
Um, I think I'll bring some Oh Snap pickles for a snack for later in the day. And then I'll throw in some pitted olives. Again, those are very carb friendly for me. And that's it. Like that's how quick I can throw my lunch together for work. I just zip it up, put it in the fridge. I will also bring my 40 ounce drink container so I can have water. And this will be enough for all week. So I'll have probably the same lunch except for the olives. So I've got two packs of those. But one day I'll maybe I'll bring pork rinds instead of um, my chippies. But that's it. That is how I pack my lunch for work. I hope you enjoyed my little vlog today. I have a lot to get done tonight. And then I will talk with you guys later. Bye.